So shooters and reloaders out there, fortune cookie 45 LC coming to for the hot lead zone. And if you do a search on lead alloy calculators, it'll lead you to the cast bullets forum. And we need to thank Bumpo 628 out of Southern California for putting together this spreadsheet called lead alloy calculators. And you can download the zip file and a zip file will kick you out the spreadsheet that we can use to calculate our lead alloy mixes to get the BHN that we want. Now I must admit that I haven't used this lead alloy calculator in the past because the calculation formulas I use work so well and I kept it simple. As you know I've been using the Rotometals formula for calculating Brunel hardness and also using it to calculate my mixes in the past. And this works fine if you're only mixing, say, two alloys together. The formula is Brunel hardness equals 8.60 plus 0.29 times percent tin plus 0.92 times percent antimony. In case you're wondering how valid that formula is, let's go back to the lead alloy calculator. Well, now I have a lot more different alloys to use from rotometals and all of a sudden this lead alloy calculator becomes very handy. So I actually recommend you go ahead and get this thing, especially if you have many different alloys on hand. So let me show you how this can really help us. Go ahead and download this file and it'll kick out the spreadsheet and here's what it looks like. This is what the lead alloy calculator spreadsheet looks like and the top part are all of our common alloys that uh, are available to us. And then the lower part in yellow is the actual calculation fields that we go ahead and plug in the alloy that we have. And then when we hit the enter button, the lower right gives us a BHN of the mix. Well, here's some very interesting points about this spreadsheet. It's always reassuring to see the calculations of the past agree with the high-tech solutions of today. So let's apply this formula, Brunel equals 8.60, and then as you see there, to the new spreadsheet. If you apply the Rotometals calculation formula for chilled shot number 7 line, all the way down to line number 22, monotype, and you calculate all those percentages with the, with the Brunel hardness Rotomel's formula, and you go all the way to the right on the hardness, the numbers match perfectly with the old formula. The old formula and the new spreadsheet agree completely. Well, here's the reason why I'm recommending that all of you out there download this lead alloy calculator spreadsheet. Notice that there are 10 lines for us to use to mix 10 different kinds of alloys. And what Bumpo 628 has on there is pure lead, wheel weights, 5050 solder, and magnum shot. But we can go ahead and take all of our available alloys that we use and enter them for our own. So in my case, mine looks like this. Notice I have ranged scrap, that's my primary alloy, and it's got 3% antimony, although according to this chart up here, antimonial lead, which is what range scrap is, has 5%, but I don't think it's that hard. So I'll go with my 3%. But then I've got foundry lead from Rotometals, and it has 12.5% tin. You see that? That's line 28. 23% antimony. Then I've got the new copper hard from Rotometals, and it's got 37% tin and 12% antimony. So I entered that on line 29. And then my super hard, which is 30% antimony, is on line 30. And then line 31 has the 16 one that I just got to uh, be able to do the casting just like uh, the Keith bullets of the past. And it's got 6% tin, but no antimony. And then, of course, Linotype, which I get from Rotometals also. All these are from Rotometals, except the range scrap. And Linotype, uh, line 32, 4% tin, 12% antimony. So I've got all those available. 
Now on the weight in pounds column, that can all be zero. And then we just go ahead and plug in what alloy we're gonna be using and some, some random weights that we're gonna be using. And then we hit the enter key, we get the hardness. So I'm about to do some casting and I want some BHN 20 bullets for rifle shooting. So all I've got to do is start taking some numbers. And so say I take nine pounds of rain scrap, line 27, nine pounds of rain scrap. And then I start adding my other alloys in there. And I look at, I hit the enter key. I look at what the BHN is. And I keep that right around 20, which is my target. And I find out that if I use five pounds of foundry lead and one pound of copper hard, I'll get BHN 20. Now, if you add that up, that's 15 pounds of alloy. And that's easy to mix in my Lee 420 pot. Or if I look for another combination, suppose I've got a lot of super hard on hand and some linotype. So then I go ahead and use my nine pounds of rain scrap and then I adjust my linotype because I want some tin in there to get some good flow of my alloy. So I'm gonna add two pounds of linotype and then I start playing with a super hard. I start with three pounds and I don't get 20. I add four pounds and I don't quite get 20. I add five pounds of super hard and lo and behold, I get 20.3. So there you go. I've got a mix that has some tin in there and I've got antimony and my rain scrap and I get 20.3 BHN. So now I'll write that down. So I've got different possibilities to get my BHN 20. And of course we can do any combination of our alloys available to get our target. So here you see a 12 pounds of rain scrap and five pounds of foundry lead two pounds of super hard and that gives us a 19 total pounds which is almost right up to the top of our Lee 420 pot. So if we're going to go ahead and try and do one full pot full then we can go ahead and juggle our numbers to uh, accommodate the 20 pound Lee pot and there it is 19.8 BHN. So we'll write that combination down. Notice this spreadsheet from Bumpo 628 is so complete that it gives us the final tin content, the final antimony content, the final lead content, the total weight, and the BHN for us. And we can go ahead and save this file under our own heading, whatever we, we want to use, to always maintain the alloys that we have on hand and we can still have room to add others if necessary. Very handy program. And that's why I actually would like to recommend that you go ahead and use this. So now we have our combinations down on this piece of paper we can take to our casting. And some of you will think, well, I've got to go ahead and weigh those, uh, those alloys, right? No, it's not necessary to weigh because that's just a lot of work. The, easier way to do it is as I'm going to go ahead and suggest to you right okay. now. Okay, suppose for example we're going to go ahead and use our rain scrap 9 pounds, foundry lead 5 pounds, and copper hard 1 pound. Total of 15 pounds of alloy. So here's how we might do it. We take our rain scrap that's in ingots and we melt it until we get just below half full because this is a 20 pound pot so half is 10 pounds and you want 9 pounds of rain scrap so you short that by about 10 percent right about there and then you go ahead and melt your ingots until you get that much then to get 5 pounds of foundry lead you take one complete bar of foundry lead from Roto Metals, which is in a five pound bar. It's pretty close and just melt that all in. That gets you your five pounds of foundry lead. Easy. 
And then the copper hard, you would go ahead and melt in one fifth of a bar of copper hard, and that gives you one pound of copper hard. You could make a little line with a Sharpie pen on your on your bar, and then just hold that bar into your molten lead until it melts right off right at that line. A nice safe way to do that would be to take two channel lock pliers and grip them very tightly on both sides of your bar and then use the channel lock pliers across your casting pot and the level of the bar in the molten alloy is right to your one pound mark. When it all melts off flush, you've got it. When you get that, you've got your 15 pounds of alloy at BHN 20. Easy. So you see the lead alloy calculator really helps us and also going ahead and mixing it this way gets it for us well. So good casting to all of you out there. Bye for now.